This is an instructional video for YouTube moderator version one by written by me. So on uh, the screen, you can see on YouTube, we've got a video game player because nobody's playing. Uh, well, nobody's playing, nobody's doing tarot readings right now. So let's pretend like this is a tarot reader. You're going to right click the entire URL to their stream and then you're going to paste it into the YouTube URL and press enter or click start scanning. On the left side here, under chatters, you'll see these are the current people that are chatting. So if Justin has a question, we can click Justin's question. Now you see press space bar to move it into the queue. So Justin wants to be into the free queue. We press space bar and now Justin is in the queue. So now over here, you'll see copy to clipboard on this section here. This is your current clipboard. So you're ready now to basically paste this into chat right so I can't chat because I'm not a subscriber to this guy but if I were let's pretend this is chat over here I would paste this and this would be the uh, the queue so the current queue you see one person it's Justin Gilbert all right so that's Justin Gilbert's queue let's say that Jake the snake no uh, let's say that uh, mostly plums has added a question you want to put them in the queue you're going to click their question press space bar and it adds them to the queue so now in the in your clipboard you currently have two people queued up so you go over here to chat I can't chat so let's go over here and uh, we paste so we have moist plums <laughs> and uh, Justin Gilbert you can see the current queue has two people in it so let's add a few more uh, people into the queue <laughs> And uh, just random people, you'll probably see some rude comments because it is a uh, video game stream. But anyway, so now we have currently six people in our queue and uh, we can go over here into the chat box and we can paste the current queue as six people. So there's the six people in the queue. Now, if we want to delete somebody in the queue, let's say Justin Gilbert has been read for and we don't need Justin Gilbert in here anymore. We're going to press the delete key and nuke them. And now you can see over here, your clipboard is automatically updated with the current queue without Justin. So it just has these people in here. <clears throat> All right. So let's say that um, Red Eye Jedi, we need his question because he forgot his question or no moist plums forgot their question. They're currently up in the queue. How do we get their question? Do we write? You see a right click to copy to clipboard. So I'm going to right click. Now you see the clipboard now has moist plums question. So let's paste that. So there we go. So we go over here into the chat and we can paste our clipboard without having to copy anything from clipboard. So you'll notice you never copy anything to your clipboard. It's automatically done for you. So you don't have to do any of that crap. All right. Let's say moist plums has their question read. Let's hit delete. Now we have four people. Now we can go over to chat and paste our clipboard and it has the four people that are in the current queue. All right. So you, you get the idea. That's how you use this, right? Now, before and after text, these are things that you want to appear before or after this stuff over here that was automatically copied to your clipboard. So let's say before text, I want to say ultra violets. Uh, whoa, wow. Violets awesome stream right ultraviolet's awesome stream now when i click anything and it copies to clipboard you'll notice before the current queue is this text right here so now you have ultraviolet's awesome stream you have a vertical bar and then you have the current queue now we can also do stuff after the queue like paypal PayPal link, uh, we'll say uh, paypal.me uh, UVT. Let's say that's her PayPal link. So now when I copy something to the clipboard, again, you need to click down here in the Q section to copy this. Now, when I paste it, the before text appears before the Q, then you have the Q, 
And then after the queue, we have the PayPal, which is going to be uh, the after text. Now, when you quit and restart, this stuff will stay here forever. It saves it on your computer under a little text file. So you can get the text file and, uh, you know, there you go. So that's all you really need up here. So super simple, super easy to use. If you don't want anything after the queue, we can delete this. Click here and then we'll go and copy. Now we have the stuff before the queue. Now we have the queue, uh, etc. So you get the idea. If you want stuff before the queue stream, if you want anything after the queue text, you put them here. And again, that persists on your computer forever. So you don't have, so if you have something long and detailed, a lot of emojis, you don't have to worry about that. So let's say Asha Harris has a question. We put Asha in the queue. Craig has a good question uh, right there. Grim Adam has a good question right there. So now we have seven people in the queue. Now we're going to go over here and paste because we don't ever have to copy anything. It's automatically copied for us. So there's our current queue. Let's say Asha left the chat. We can't find Asha anymore. You're gone. Click the delete key. Now we have six people in the queue instead of seven. And we just go over to chat and paste that into the queue. Anyway, that is it. Uh, running time is how long that you personally have been in there. So, uh, yeah, that is the instruction manual for YouTube Moderator version one. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, there's a link in the description, although it's going to take me a couple of days to get this uploaded to Bitbucket. Um, so, just be aware of that. So, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching.